in this combination. And this is actually the first time we haven't seen a Restoration Druid. So this is going to be a unique matchup. Both teams face elimination. Can Wildcard Gaming battle it back for a rematch later on? We don't expect to see such a titanic team in the lower bracket this early on, but the competition is at its highest this year. Yeah, well, it's one of those things. I feel like Wildcard Gaming, if they had locked in a Windwalker Monk, that is what changed my mind wanted to play into with the Holy Paladin. You want to be able to use the Blessing of Protection on the Touch of Karma to take down a Windwalker Monk quite quickly. So Wildcard Gaming kind of realizing the situation changed my mind is in. They decided to bring in the Moonkin Elemental Shaman Mistweaver Monk, and this is a very durable setup against what changed my mind is bringing. But on that Holy Paladin, and Poike will be able to conserve his mana for quite some time. I could see Change My Mind winning this. Uh, Belay just getting <laughs> destroyed right off the bat there. Has to use the Dispersion, a powerful defensive Shadow Priest cooldown. So he won't have that for another minute and 20 seconds. And z is firing on all cylinders still with Valet ducking for cover at the corner here with Minpoike. And Maro is pushing forward as well. Acro Cyclone behind. Maro switches targets to him as well. Minpoike gets stunned. They've got Change My Mind pinned at the pillar. And as a Wizard Cleave with that triangle positioning, that could be deadly. Minpoike sees that he's getting cornered, so he leads the charge for his team, initiating crowd control. Looney saw that crowd control incoming and used Life Cocoon right before it landed, but even still may not be enough. The Repentance play from Minpoike on this Paladin Bought them victory against Never Lucky yesterday, potentially finding them victory against Wildcard Gaming today. Perfect crowd control chain, banking multiple defensive cooldowns on the side of Wildcard Gaming, and this composition is looking good for Change My Mind. Keep in mind what just happened. Wildcard Gaming, not only did ah. they commit the trinket from Looney, they also used the Astral from z -Pi. Smoke Bomb Kitty Shop, but z -Pi, he's outside of that Smoke Bomb, and Looney should be able to heal him up. That's a little bit unfortunate there for Change My Mind, but... Now, in this situation, all they really need is one good crowd control on the Looney. They can kidney shot z -Pipe. They could potentially take him down. Big heals so far from Change My Mind. Mana totally full on, on their side as well. Acro going down in a stun lock is really all I see as potential. Ooh. Repentance on the way of the Crane. This is great play by Minpoike. Silence on Morrow. He can't support the team. They dispel off the Ghost Wolf. z -Pi's in trouble on the run. If they can keep removing that Ghost Wolf, z -Pi may just go down. A sap out of the Hammer of Justice by Acro. Ah! play is absolutely oh, insane. What? I told you. What is this team? Why would they not play in this composition throughout the entire spring season? I North America playing their classic Shadow Priest Rogue setup with a Paladin and somehow, some way, making it work despite being down a player. Their mage fried kitty unable to attend. So as three players, they're left with no choice, no other options, but also no stress because really are they expected to win? So with that taken into account, they're playing perfectly and they're really just more relaxed than their opposing teams and when you lose to a team where it's like there's two-man roster well, like, we shouldn't lose that might even just be tilting we see early on Looney committing that gladiators medallion to remove blind usually a typical trade and I do like that Looney has switched over from the Mistweaver I think that Minpoike would have otherwise punished that selection quite easily the Restoration Druid gonna be able to drag the fight out for some time we do see Minpoike actually being pressured here on the Paladin early damage here in game two. Divine Shield forced out. Minpoike going to respect that space, but that was not a cooldown committed by Wildcard Gaming, and they managed to scare Minpoike into using his most potent defensive. Let's see how Wildcard Gaming capitalized on this advantage. Well, Minpoike and Change of Mind sort of spiced it up a little bit. Minpoike no longer playing that Repentance, which has been so good for him. Against the Restoration Druid, it isn't nearly as effective, so he's decided to go with the Blinding Light. That's going to be extra crowd control. Minpoike can cross the map. He can get a Hammer of Justice into a Blinding Light, and who knows what's going to happen after that. Change of Mind has a big crowd control chain at their disposal. Looney with no trinket, no Iron Bark. I can see them taking down z with just one clean setup. All right, let's see if they can do it here. They managed to get a Gladys Medallion for Morrow. Potential smoke bomb for an ice block. That could be a big push here from Acro. He's going to trinket out of that lightning lasso and try and connect, but Morrow kites him with the frozen orb. Good positioning, but Blessing of Freedom gets him out. The purge off the Blessing of Freedom, but even still, Frost Nova now on Acro Law. Great kiting for Morrow, but ultimately they connect. Smoke bomb play here from Acro. That's going to be an ice block. Good setup. Clean play if I change my mind. Yeah, very nice setup. Acro eventually met him. Morrow, or they need to be very careful against the Frost Mage. Like Morrow, he's being being able to spell steal that blessing of freedom, although it gets Acro out of a snare, it allows Morrow a lot of room to kite around. So I want to see Acro cancel that. Oh. If he gets blessing of freedom, he can take it off, and that way Morrow isn't able to dispel it. Big burst damage over on Acro right now. Ray of Frost as well as that lightning lasso. Good pressure. Full kitty shot now on Morrow. Change my mind, looking to reverse the pressure and potentially get out that second ice block. And a lead actually for Change My Mind, and Boyke is doing a phenomenal job on this Paladin. 
not going down to the early pressure, able to survive, and now looking like he can extend the game into the late phases as well. Acro appears to be the main pressure point, especially on Ashamane's fall. That's going to be the best tactic for Wildcard Gaming. Go after the melee who has to overextend and compromise his positioning. Wildcard Gaming trying to take the edge here as Acro gets blasted. Shadow stepping back and able to avoid death. Now initiating crowd control for the team, stunning up two targets. Blind follow-up, silence on the trinket. Nice play here by Valet. Do they have anything out of this is now the question they don't. They are not going to get a second ice block as a result, but getting the Gladiators medallion is still a major objective in the way of Change My Mind's victory. Yeah, and z -Pi, basically what's happening is they're getting good crowd control over on the Looney, oh, but as long as swap. z is there, you can get the heals out, and Poike in a little bit of trouble right now. No Divine Shield, one Maladic connects a second, and Poike could easily fall. Beautiful win here by z -Pi. Wild Card Gaming, punishing this Minpoike Holy Paladin, tying the series up. Oh, on the Windwalker Monk. Now, you'd expect the Windwalker Monk to be a little bit scared in this matchup, but I think yeah. with the, back, the backup of z -Pi, the Looney on that Mistweaver Monk, I think they can actually live, survive past a lot of these crowd control changes, as long as Blizzo is very careful in this matchup. I'm not sure if I'm sold on the Mistweaver pick. I mean, Looney is a phenomenal Mistweaver. I think the Repentance is still such an effective crowd control that could counteract him. We do see z and crowd control. All three oh. members locked down. Curious play by Change My Mind to mix it up. They might catch Wildcard Gaming off guard here on Runes of Order on z on the run. If they can continue the chain, they do. They get the Glider's Medallion on a silence of Looney? Or was that a dwarf? Racial will find out if he was able to remove that because now blind could be deadly. They got the Gliders Medallion of z -Pi. That's an opening for Smoke Bomb now as well. Change my mind, have momentum. But finally, Wildcard Gaming start punching back. Play gets blasted, but immediately healed back to full by Minpoike. Acro is going to be the playmaker here. He's got the Smoke Bomb available. He sets up the blind right before that Gliders Medallion is available. The timing is perfect. Blizzo protects with that Ring of Peace. Thunderstorm as well. Looney is still crowd controlled. Now using the Gliders Medallion to break out of the chain. I want to see if Minpoike, basically Minpoike's crowd control can win the game in the next attempt. If he's able to get in position, land a repentance without z or Blizzo denying it. Let's see if Minpoike can put the team on his back here. Despite being a man down in the tournament, Minpoike leads the charge here moving forward. Looney ducks for cover, avoiding the repentance. Minpoike is chasing him, looking for it. Looney line of sights at the tombstone on the top of the hill. Good positioning from Looney to avoid the crowd control. He knows that's the game-winning crowd control, and Looney needs to stay as far away from Minpoike as possible. Yeah, right now, Wildcard Gaming is very vulnerable. Good counter pressure on Valet, though. Nice leg sweep from Blizzo, making sure Valet's not feeling too confident in this matchup. Full Hammer of Justice paired with the Kidney Shot. z could be in a lot of trouble, but a beautiful Ring of Peace forces a lot of damage reduction onto Acro, and z manages to survive, and now it's Valet that's in trouble. He's gotten to his stun. Void Shift was used on him in Poike. Valet keeps himself alive, but at what cost? Blizzo was the MVP on that play, protecting z interrupting the Repentance, protecting his entire team. We... Um, He's an amazing warrior, but as Arms Warrior, not in the best position at the moment. He's playing just as phenomenally on that Wind Walker, shutting down two locations and two important moments in saving the team. Now buying them an opportunity to battle back. Vendetta available, though, here for Acro shortly. Already Life Cocoon shredded through. Looney sets up crowd control as they push for a kill on Valet. And Poike has to be the one to respond, breaking out of that stun. He's going to have to use the Blessing of Sacrifice to redirect damage. Doesn't look like it. Big Holy Light comes in. Another Holy Light in the back line. All right. Once again, Looney, he's going to be... Or sorry, Minpoike can carry the team. He's charging across center field. Looney still repositions. Minpoike moves in. This Hammer of Justice, Repentance. They need to stop it. Repentance gets wind sheared. Good shutdown. That kidney shot was one second too late, but can they still find it? Silence instead. They need the Repentance. Looney is line of sighting it at this cart in the ooze. When Poike can't get the crowd control, they go for blind instead. A few more seconds to that Gladiator's Medallion as Looney didn't have it lined up perfectly. Mind bomb to cross crowd control Blizzo. They pull the Astral Shift from z -Pi with no Astral Shift and no Gladiator's Medallion on Looney. Once again, the crowd control of Poike can close it out and put Wildcard Gaming on match point. This positioning has just been phenomenal from Wildcard Gaming. Minpoike has not been able to get the Repentance. z is always there to back him up with the wind shear, with the grounding totem. And if he can't, Looney can just easily line a sight. Change my mind. They're not in the worst situation, though. Minpoike actually has a massive mana lead. z is still falling low behind. Change my mind is actually doing quite well. There's a full silence on Looney. He preemptively gets the life cocoon out. Full kidney shot. z trinkets out. Just trying to use the mobility of that elemental shaman paired up with Blizzo, who can keep everyone snared using the Ring of Peace, keeping Filet out of line of sight. Right now, Wildcard Gaming is doing quite well, but Change My Mind is still in it. Minpoike in a paralysis. 
Fillet the target here. Blizzo trying to carry the team. He wants to put his team on match point and then just advance in the lower bracket. We were not expecting Change My Mind to even be putting up a fight without their mage player, Fried Kitty, but they are playing out of this world here against Wildcard Gaming. Zipai's down at half. Blizzo once again desperately trying to stall with the leg sweep, but not able to. Blessing and Protection removes that to allow Akron to play aggressively. Zipai's line of sighting Valet to avoid the dispels on his Ghost Wolf. If they can remove this Ghost Wolf, he will lose a lot of healing. Filet pushes up on the tombstone. He's oh. dispelling. Will he find it? He needs to remove the Ghost Wolf. Astral Shift. It has to be enough. Will it be? The crowd control is endless. Ring of Peace protects z -Pi from Acro, but not from Valet. z -Pi with good positioning around the tomb has managed to weather the storm and survive the vendetta of Acro. Blizzo now with Touch of Death available is going to push for dispersion. Is Valet ready? Yeah, we'll definitely have to see if he can hold on just a little bit longer. Still, Menpoike's man is doing quite well. Full kitty shot on Zipai. If Menpoike can get in a position to land a repentance, things are going to get scary for wildcard gaming. Looney decides to trick it out of the blind, managing to push in for crowd control on him. And Poike lands the full leg sweep. Zipai in trouble. There's the cheap shot, potentially set up in Poike, but he's out of line of sight. He can't get the repentance. A little bit of a disaster there for Wildcard Gaming, but Afro manages to land a beautiful interrupt on the Looney. And oh. Zipai still in a lot of trouble. Can change my mind. Claim game number three. Ring of Peace denies Acro follow up damage. Zipai manages to hold on. Look at the mana. It's down to the wire here. His dampening has just set in. Zipai gets stunned. He's not in Ghost Wolf. Any crowd control on Looney, this could just be over. There is no defense. Repentance is secured, and it's all on Blizzo to protect z -Pi, but I don't think he can do it. Oh, Change my wow. mind, put wild card gaming on match point. The snipe with the Maldic from Vilay at the end of that one. Corner. And this Shadow Priest Rogue has managed to find the victory against Never Lucky of North America, and now Wildcard Gaming of Europe, they've got him on match point. Match point for Wildcard Gaming. They gotta figure something out. Tournament lives on the line right now. Walking into this tournament, I feel like a lot of people expected them to walk away with the entire thing, earn their spot to BlizzCon, but it's an uphill battle at this point. I am very curious to see if Wildcard Gaming can stay alive. This is an elimination game for them. No mistakes can be made. Acro already pulling the Gliders Medallion from Looney with a blind. Creating openings for his team early on. Acro weaving in and out to avoid being leg swept. Trying to get in there, but gets gripped into it. Zipai is not going to be fooling around. Immediately summoning in that abomination. Valet is trying to get it under control with a shackle, but being denied. That abomination is getting full up time. They want to go after Acro, but he is now able to sort of bob and weave in and out of the fight. And Poike stunned, but no momentum just yet. Uh, Acro saved his kidney shot to stun Blizzo while Poike was stunned. So good defensive posturing from Change My Mind early on as they wait for that abomination to fade, which it now has. Yeah, Blizzo hasn't been forced away just yet. Normally in this matchup, we see Change My Mind's composition. They go after the Windwalker Monk, force him to run away, but they just haven't found the damage yet. Blizzo with a beautiful diffuse magic before the kidney shot. Still trades out his trinket, uses that transcendence to get away, relaying his port. So Blitz is going to be relatively safe as long as he has his portal in a good spot. Good pressure here, still for change my mind. The crowd control isn't over. Blizzo forced to trade out his touch of karma. And all of a sudden, Blizzo went from having every single defensive to none at all. Wildcard Gaming is very vulnerable. This is match point. They've still got Looney locked down, and they've still got a lot of damage. Life Cocoon is going to save Blizzard, but Cyclone nice. low health. Minpoike switching between Paladin to Druid, making it look like he has been playing Druid all day. Look at these Cyclones, denying the touch of Death Burst, denying the absorption effect of Looney's Life Cocoon. Now, can they set up crowd control? Silence. Looney is He's in trouble. To get out of that. Now, stunned up, but with no crowd control. Looney is dealing with the pressure quite well. Blizzo wants to push forward, but he's so vulnerable in this position. They try to swap him in Poike. He trades Barkskin, manages to escape to safety. Vampiric Embrace from Valet should stabilize the team throughout this onslaught. Acro still crowd control at Looney with a kick. I'm wondering if Valet is running the Mind Bomb talent. If they've got a silenced Mind Bomb anytime soon, that could pull Gliders Medallion. And if they get that before Blind, that could just be the end of the game. This could just be the end of the tournament for Wild Card Gaming, the number two seed from Europe. We were saying that they could take this entire thing and they're going to lose to a team that's a man down in desperation back into a corner 
Yeah, Minpoike, he managed to sit down and recover some of his mana by sipping on some water. Acro and Valet both rotting down, though. This could be dangerous. In the meantime, Blizzard taking quite a bit of burst. Changed my mind. Under pressure. What are they going to be able to get done? Mind Bomb on a loony. Kidney shot on Blizzo. Anti-Magic Zone. It has to be enough. Blizzo holds on. Gets Cyclone on his trinket, but he still has Touch of Karma, Diffuse Magic as well as that Fortifying Brew. So a lot of defenses available here for Wildcard Gaming. As long as he doesn't get caught and it's done, things are going to be looking good. Beautiful Cyclone from Minpoike now switching the crowd control over to Looney. Not able to find the Cyclone, actually. z -Pi protects him with a death grip and a stun. Now they actually swapped him in Poike, trying to soften him up and go after him. But I will say Minpoike's experience on Druid unlikely to go down as easily as he did with the Paladin in this situation. So Wildcard Gaming still have a lot of work ahead of them. No Gladius Medallion, no on either Blizzo or Looney. This is dangerous. There's Vendetta. If they can kill him in a stun, he's not going to be able to access Touch of Karma or Diffuse Magic. Acro could set up for victory. Change my mind must know that, but they're also in danger with no Gladius Medallion on their heel or their Shadow Priest, so it's a risky move to go for. They are going to go for it. They need another stun. Blizzo comes out. He defuses magics. He needs to potentially touch up Karma. Sap out of the Mind Bomb. Acro sets up for victory. Blizzo transcendence is away. Looney is still locked down. Blizzo needs to try and avoid it, but Acro's all over him. Valet trying to march forward, but he's snared, not able to connect. Good avoidance from Blizzo. Now he's pushing forward for some damage on him in Poike. What can he get done? Minpoike exchanges Barkskin and Iron Bark, connects to Swift Men and stabilizes. Looking at the mana, still too close to call. It's anyone's match. Cooldown wise, change my mind, are ahead. Yeah, this is something I consistently call out, but Blizzo, Transcendence, middle of the map. This is looking good for Change My Mind. Blizzo, he has his trinket, but he doesn't have an escape route. They catch him in a stun. If Blizzo gets caught a little bit far behind, it's going to be difficult for him to actually retreat. But a nice swap over on him in Poike. They could just take him down. Gladiator safeguard for Oxman. Poike in full retreat. Blizzo chasing him down, and now into a full kidney shot. Smoke Bomb gets traded out. Blizzo trinkets into a cheap shot. Good crowd control here for Change My Mind. Oh, and Blizzo, hold on. Oh. They silence the Death Knight to stop his denial to to get a Cyclone. Clutch play by Valet, but now he won't be able to Mind Bomb with the chain. And that was a much more threatening chain. I'm not sure if that was necessary. Minpoike is stunned up in midfield, trying to kite and avoid Blizzo and Z-Pi, but they are just zug-zugging down the healer. Will Minpoike be able to deal with the pressure? Can he keep it together? Can they pull off the victory against the Titans Wild Card Gaming? Yeah, I'm in Poike, you can see, looking to get out of combat, looking to get some mana returned. Acro with a nice shadow step kick on the Looney. Blizzo still a little bit vulnerable. He's actually running the good Karma talent, so not using the Ring of Peace, but when he uses that touch of Karma, he will get some additional healing, which makes it very difficult for Change My Mind to push through that defensive cooldown. If they decide to just attack into it, Blizzo's going to get healed up, and they might not know that. Yeah, most certainly could be the case. Valet now the target. Nice double leg sweep from Blizzo. Good pressure on two targets. Minpoike burning through mana fast and now getting swapped to Wildcard Gaming, keeping Change My Mind on their toes. Multiple fronts of danger at this point. Fade exchanged by Valet. That makes him immune to incoming damage. Now looking to counterattack. Gladiator's Maledict activated. Looney dispels that instantaneously. Blind. The player's medallion for Looney. Touch of Karma. If they can cut through the Touch of Karma, they don't trust it. They're going to use the Anti Magic Zone as well. They get the sap. Well, Perfect follow up by Acro. This could just be it. Do they have anything off the back of the sap? Blizzle Doesn't ports look like it. it. He ports nowhere. He gets mind control back in the midfield by Valet. Despite the blunder, doesn't get punished. And Blizzle, you cannot afford these mistakes. You're on match point, man. Yeah, Blizzle, or sorry, Minpoike managed to sneak away, get a little bit of mana back. Unfortunately, didn't have the time. There's still good pressure here for Wildcard Gaming. Blizzo now surviving, has his trinket, has a fortifying brew. Things are looking good. Valet getting low. This could be the dispersion easily. Blizzo with a whirling dragon punch. Valet with a well-timed greater fade does manage to escape. Right now, change my mind. They're still just going after Blizzo. Good crowd control on Looney, but Minpoike is really struggling to keep his team alive. He most certainly is, but the mana is still even. Dampening continues to rise. They pull Gladiator's Medallion from Acro. He's a swap target now later on. Looney playing Wave of the Crane could make a push for his team as well. He has not used it the entire match. That could add enough damage to find a kill, though. Minpoike gets gripped into the fray. Three targets stacked up. That's going to be a lot of pressure that Minpoike needs to deal with swiftly. He is able to wild charge to safety in the back line. I love that changed my mind, took advantage of this map for their own favor. They switch to Z-Pi, knowing that deep and dampening, the Death Knight is more vulnerable. They pull his most vital defensive cooldown, Icebound Fortitude, right before that critical 40% point. Now there's two targets that Looney needs to be worried about. Change my mind are setting themselves up well for victory if they can hold it together. 
Yeah, Valet taking quite a bit at burst. There's a Cyclone on Zipai. They're changing their target. Zipai getting low. He has to shrink it out. Anti-magic shell. And now Zipai, he's got nothing left. There's still crowd control on Looney. Is he going to trade out his trinket? He has the life cocoon if he needs it. Zipai has to get off some death strikes to stay alive. And it looks like Wildcard Gaming, they're going to be switching it up. They're going after Mintoike. He's got no trinket, but Smoke Bomb getting dropped out. Zipai could be in some trouble. Looney activates the life cocoon. Nice life grip there by Valet. That leap of faith to save Mintoike. Zipai gets top off but still really vulnerable all right uh, acro in a stun huge damage belay once again saving the day void chip and now blizzard switches targets trying to capitalize on that and keep minpoike pressured mana slightly in favor of wildcard gaming now but cooldown wise zipai is exposed Valet has Vampiric Embrace rolling. That's going to heal the whole team up. Well timed by Valet right now. These last three pushes, he is totally shut down. Wild card gaming single-handedly. Blind, big move here. No defense. Can they get on target? Acro is Chains of Ice. He has to pick between sapping and doing damage, but he can't even get there to sap. They break up the chain. Looney's out of crowd control, but Mimpoike leads in with a bash. Is he just going to go down to bash? Four more seconds to that anti-magic shield. Or sorry, to the life cocoon. Anti-magic shield available to buy that time. Zipai holds on, but I would have never thought that changed my mind. Are this close to eliminating wildcard gaming? Nobody could have predicted it, and it's still anyone's game. You don't want to go anywhere. This is coming down to the wire. It definitely is. Wildcard gaming tournament life on the line at this point. They're battling it back, forcing to belay into the dispersion, and Poike completely out of mana. Have they turned this fight in their favor? There's a full kidney shot. Cheap shot onto Looney's way of the crane. Looney looking to get really aggressive. I think that's his first way of the crane of the entire game. Wants to finally push, change my mind over, but they're managing to hold on. I think they ran out of time. Valet slowly but surely will fall with the full leg sweep. And Poike just nothing left, no gas. And Wild Park Gaming tie off this series in a very close game. Priest Rogan, well, it's working better for them than anything else in the spring season. And they may just be able to take down Wild Card Gaming, a team that we expected to take the entire tournament. This game will decide it. The winner advances, the loser goes home. Yeah, we'll have to see what exactly Morrow can get done. So far, he's been doing a really good job in the series when they played the Elemental Frost Mage. It was not even close. Acro's gonna have to do a good job shutting him down in this match. And I'm curious, for change my mind, who do they go after? Are they just gonna play the control game? Go after Morrow? Utilize the offensive or utilize the defensive dispel that Valet has available, and I think if they do that, it's going to be really difficult for Morrow su to survive. Yeah, it most certainly could be. I do like that Lunia switched off the Mistweaver Monk. I think that that specialization would have just lost the tournament. So on his Druid, Minpoike's Druid, head to head between Titans, Looney, the BlizzCon champion from years prior. Can he keep it together for his team? They're on match points. Valet, Acro, Minpoike, they've got so much synergy on this composition. It's almost as if they've been playing it their entire lives. Looney is still locked down. Maro the target, isolated. Big hits rolling in. Acro keeps the chain going. This could be an ice block force early on by Change My Mind. Can they get it? They need it. They're just a couple points. Wow. Away, but they don't get it denied. <laughs> Maro just playing it so greedy. Now into a full kitty shot with a smoke bomb. Do they have the damage to force the ice block? Blizzard with a beautiful ring of peace. Does back up Maro just a little bit. Maro blinks away, uses the ice barrier, and manages to hold on to that precious ice block. All right, Maro, can you keep it up here against Change My Mind? Any mistakes? Both sides are literally sweating as we see them on the cameras in the bottom left and right hand side. It's been a long and grueling battle between these teams in the lower bracket as Europe looks to eliminate a European team as well. There's only one North American team left in the tournament. And that's going to be up next. Cloud9, the last hope for North America. Every single team was respecting them as the team to take it in the tournament. But change my mind, the Dark Horse, the underdog of the tournament, might have something to say about that if they can eliminate wildcard gaming here in game five we'll have to see if they can get it done morrow finding some crowd control on to acro his objective in this game when he's in trouble he just needs to run away from valet avoid a lot of those dispel magic effects so he can keep those heal over times from looney as well as that precious ice barrier which is a huge absorb frost may just have available you can see it utilized right now on his character if Valet can dispel that, that's going to be devastating for Morrow. But if he can keep that up by using line of sight, just doing these hit and run strategies, Morrow just moves in. When Blizzo has Fist of Fear, when he has good burst damage, that's when they can get aggressive. And Poike playing the balance affinity, actually. It's just so difficult in this matchup for Morrow to get the crowd control he really needs. Unless Looney's able to push in, get a bash, that could set Morrow up for a Ring of Frost. But on his own, it is so unlikely Morrow does manage to find a polymorph.
The competition this year is at its pinnacle. It is at its apex. Even a team down a member is taking out the number two seed from Europe, potentially here in game five. Acro engaging crowd control. Morrow the target. They need to get an ice block. They're one second away off the end of the sap. Morrow once again dancing with death here, holding on by a thread, holding out as long as possible, not willing to trade out that ice block. A risky gamble, but he gets away with it again. Mana totally even, and it's anyone's match still. Good denial on Blizzo's touch of death with that Cyclone. Not going to be pulling too many powerful cooldowns, and I must say, commend Minpoike. He has stepped up in this tournament. His mindset, his focus on positivity for his team is definitely paying off. Yeah, it definitely is, and like you said, these Druids are relatively even on mana, but right now, Looney does have a slight advantage. And if this game keeps going on and Marl's able to hold on to those two ice blocks, that may be too little too late for Change My Mind. They have to start fa forcing out some of these cooldowns, but Looney, he's always just sitting on the Iron Bark position very far away. The Ring of Pieces from Blizzo have been really protective for Morrow, denying Acro any sort of damage. Morrow's been doing a really good job in this matchup, kiting, landing the Frost Novas, landing the Polymorphs he needs. But these Garrote Silences from Acro will shut down some of that crowd control. Morrow continuing to just run and hide down into a kidney shot. Unfortunately, it was just a half kidney shot on Morrow. Bit of a misplay there for Acro. Hook points, the smallest map in the game. You really can't drink on this map. You can close the distance so easily. Look, Looney's trying to. And Poike sees him, runs across the field, denies it. No mana regenerated for Looney. Bashed on his innervate. That is devastating for Wildcard Gaming because this could come down to mana. And Poike denies the innervate, gets the crowd control, creates an opening for the team. Acro tried to move over, maybe to potentially sap out of it, but not going to find it. Blizzo now cycloned up, denying the reconnect. Still a slight lead for Change My Mind. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> there is a lead for Change My Mind. They are down a player in this tournament. They're in a lower bracket. They've faced elimination time and time again, but somehow they're keeping it together. And I don't even think Wildcard Gaming could have expected this. Even every time they lose to Change My Mind, they're just like, what happened? What has just happened? And here in desperation, they break out Windwalker Frostmates to try and figure out an answer to this Shadow Priest Rogan. It has to be enough. This is match point. Everything comes down to it. Yeah, they're going after Acro now, and Acro is actually really vulnerable. He's used his Cloak of Shadows. He's used his Feint. He really doesn't have much left. And Poike gets caught into a bash. He has a Trinket as well as his Iron Bark forced to trade both out in order to keep Acro alive. Blizzle looking to get hyper aggressive right now with that touch of death. Acro with the Shadow Step, Smoke Bomb, Kitty Shot on Morrow. Morrow Trinket's out, still trying to kite away. Avoiding using this Ice Walk at all costs, but finally, overlap. first one is traded out with an overlap from Looney. Acro, though, is still in trouble. If Change My Mind can't get him regenerated back to full, it could be trouble. Morrow gets stunned. No way out. Iron Bark's defense is going to be fading. Valet will be stripping off those heal over time effects. Mana is still totally even. Cooldowns as well, I would say, in this position are very close. These teams are so evenly matched in game five. It could go either way. Morrow is cycloned at a little bit low health. And Poike cyclones have been so amazing. Looney tries to respond with one of his own, but gets denied by Valet. Now a mind bomb. This is trouble. Trouble town for Morrow. If Acro can connect, Blizzo preventing Acro from making it over, but he does inevitably. They strip off the Temporal Shield instantly. The Ring of Peace denies a little bit of the reconnect, but Acro is still poking him with the Fan of Knives. Frost Nova, Maro tries to pause the fight as long as possible, but Looney, he seems to be struggling. Now finally able to get crowd control on Minpoike Bash. He tries to life grip him out of line of sight of Cyclone, but not able to actually life gripping Acro to safety at the pillar. Minpoike comes out of the Cyclone, no follow-up. Iron Bark saves the day. Looney escapes. Is he going to be able to regenerate mana? If Looney gets mana on this drink, it could oh, be the game no. when he play. I think he's going to. And Poike's trying to get there. He snipes him with the Vortex, but he already got mana. That's devastating for Change My Mind. This is disastrous for Change My Mind. That's what they needed, but Looney was able to sneak away in a moment of offense for his team. Looney now with the Iron Bark on the silence into a full Mind Bomb. Morrow still just one Acro. ice away. It could potentially fall. Acro has to trade out his Vanish as well. That's just great pressure coming in from Blizzle and Morrow. Everything on the line for both of these teams. This is an elimination match. They will be knocked out of this tournament if they lose. Morrow getting low. Is this going to be a second Ice Walk? Bash on the Looney. Doesn't want to have to trade on his Trinket. Icy Veins gets traded out by Morrow. Looking to get hyper-aggressive onto Acro. Valet backing him up with a beautiful Dispel. Removing that offensive cooldown. Big and hit. now, Touch of Death on Acro. Iron Bark as a response and even on mana both of these druids are even with the drink the man is evened out it's still anyone's fire 15 percent dampening blind loony trinkets now exposed to silence mind bomb Valet has the crowd control. Acro has the damage. If they line it up, this should be an easy ice block and likely the last one of the game. 
They can line up another setup after that. Change my mind, eliminate wildcard gaming? Absolutely unbelievable. Lizzo, of course, is going to do everything in his power to deny that, keeping pressure up on Acro throughout. But Vendetta has been bopped. The Mind Bomb has been secured. Morrow's second ice block is the target. They oh. get it and change my mind are one setup away from eliminating wildcard gaming. This is unbelievable, Belay. He still has his void shift. There's the kidney shot on Morrow. Bring a piece to last line of defense. Morrow, can they take him down? Change my mind, looking to pull off a miracle in this matchup. Rooney does stabilize his health, and Morrow does manage to survive. No evasion for Acro. No ice blocks for Morrow. No mana for either Restoration Druid. You couldn't ask for a better game five in the lower bracket as both teams face elimination. They both lose out on an opportunity to qualify directly to the BlizzCon World Finals. They all lose out on an opportunity at $50,000 in one game, and they are so close oh. to victory on either side. Looney predicts the silence, and Iron Park's right before it, denying the kill. Minpoika equally so, anticipating crowd control with Iron Park. But as Iron Park fades, that's the last line of defense for either side. Uh-oh, kidney shot on Morrow. They got the smoke bomb paralysis. They're looking to close out this game and send Wildcard Gaming home. Morrow in desperation. Temporal shield. Looney finds some heals. Beautiful peels by Blizzo to keep Morrow alive. Now Wildcard Gaming, they have to find some counter pressure in this ma matchup or it's just a matter of time before they lose. These teams are of such a top level that the last line just keeps moving back. They get a sap. They catch Looney while he was trying to go for a drink. He's totally exposed. Then Poike, where are the clones? Maybe they don't have the diminishing returns. They go for the mind bomb instead. They go for the safe play. They keep it clean. They keep it clinical and change my mind are seconds away from killing Morrow. They are seconds away from eliminating Wildcard Gaming. Looney doing everything he can. He's got no mana. He's blinded up. He trinkets. Morrow is still being pressured. Blizzo tries to counter aggress, but he gets cycloned and denied. Mid Poike is absolutely playing out of his mind right now, denying the counter pressure. The spell instantly on the Maledict, but Morrow is so low and Dampening is so high. Temporal Shield on the last and final seconds of the game. Will it be enough if Acro can't connect? He can't. Blizzo's denying the connect. Bring a piece, double leg sweep, and Blizzo is trying to turn this around. This would be a complete miracle if they could take down Acro. There is no way Voidchip comes out from Belay. Boy, you can't believe it. He has to keep Acro and Belay alive. Morrow is still low. This is do or die for both of these teams. Silence in the mind bomb. Belay with game winning crowd control. But Morrow with the icy veins immediately dispelled by Belay. Morrow still running. He's still hiding. He has cold snap in just and 10 short seconds. He has to hold on. Eight. Also doing everything he can. There's the cyclone from Minpoike denying some of the damage. But Acro's in a lot of trouble. Three, he's in a stun, he can't do it. Looney's Iron Bark buys him time. There we go, he's got another block. Walker Gaming suddenly have the cooldowns to survive. They suddenly have an opportunity to stay alive in the lower bracket. They've got a lead, but the man is totally tapped still. Pressure is still mounting. They could immediately get the ice block. Blizzo is doing play out of his mind, snaring Acro. He's trying to vivify and heal Marmon. Poike is star searching. He's going to get the ice block for the team here. There's That's no spell. defense. There's nothing left in this match. Dampany is totally at critical mass. There's no mana. There's nothing. There it is. Oh, it's not oh, it's it's not. The underdogs of the tournament are going to take it. They're going to take it. They have done it. Outstanding! Outstanding on hook point. Never has that word been used so well. The disbelief, the energy. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.